When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 Beatles songs that you can play with four chords or less, and it is going to be the same four chords for every song. Those four chords are going to be G major, D major, E minor, and C. Now, some of you might know this as the four chords chord sequence, but there's actually only one song on this list that we're playing with those four chords. The Beatles did not really use those chord progressions often. It took a lot of sorting and finding to find these songs which are gonna use these same chords throughout and no other chords in the song at all. If there's any small differences to that, I will let you know. I have full song tutorials for most songs on this list too. I will leave links to those in the description below and I'll also have a page on my website andyguitar.co.uk where I have all the song tutorials in a list with chord sheets and everything like that. I'll leave a link to that page in the top of the description on YouTube. But let's make a start. The first song we're checking out is Paperback Writer which has a fantastic riff by the way but other than that riff it just uses the chords G major and C major. And just using the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, which I'll be using a lot in these playing demos, and I'll give you some tips on that a little later. But for example, this song goes, Dear sir or madam, will you read my book? It took me years to write, will you take a look? It's based on a novel by a man named Lee, and I need a job, so I want to be a paperback writer. Paperback writer. Another famous two chord Beatles song is Eleanor Rigby, which just uses the two chords E minor and C major in the following fashion. I look at all the lonely people. Eleanor Rigby picks up the rice in a church where the wedding has been. Lives in a dream, waits at the window. Wearing the face that she keeps in a jar by the door Who is it for? All the lonely people Where do they all come from? There's a few Beatles songs that use just three chords, perhaps the most famous and well-known that just uses these three chords. Without a capo, we have Love Me Do, which uses G, C major, and D major. Love, love me do, you know I love you, I'll always be true, so please. Love me do, whoa, love me do. Full tutorial for that one on my YouTube channel and on my website. One I haven't done a tutorial before, but I need to do one that's kind of more as the recording. But um, this is Taxman by the Beatles, the first song from my favorite Beatles album, uh, Revolver. And it's really simple. There's a lot more complexity going on in the original, but I'll do a tutorial for that soon. To give you an idea. Let me tell you how it will be There's one for you, 19 for me Cause I'm the tax man Yeah, I'm the tax man A little bit of a funny rhythm in that one, but one that has a very uh, similar to rhythm to my previous video on uh, 10 songs that kind of sound like Johnny Be Good. Uh, this is rock and roll music. Now you can do it with the three chords we covered in my old uh, Johnny Be Good video, but we're gonna do it with G, C, and D, because it's just a 12 bar blues, and we can put that a 12 bar blues, early rock and roll style in any key that we want. And in this key, 
using these three chords, it would be G. And here's how we can do that. Just let me hear some of that rock and roll music. Any old way you choose it. It's got a backbeat, you can't lose it. Any old way you choose it. Gotta be rock and roll music if you wanna dance with me. If you wanna dance with me. Another one to this 12 bar blues chord progression would be Can't Buy Me Love. Now, there's other chords in Can't Buy Me Love, but the main recognizable section is just 12 bar blues, kind of similar to what we've just done there, in the key of G. To keep this in the key of the original, you'll need a capo at the fifth fret. I'll buy you a diamond ring, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. I'll get you anything, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. I don't care too much for money, money can't buy me love I'll give you all I've got to give if you say you'll love me too I may not have a lot to give, but what I got I'll give to you I don't care too much for money, money can't buy me love We'll cover more songs with those exact same chords in one second, but I just wanted to cover two other uh, bonus songs, which are just three chord Beatles songs, but they use the chords D, G, and A major. So rather than the C major, it's A major for these songs. We have, of course, Twist and Shout. Well, shake it up, baby, now shake it up, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Basically that for the whole song, apart from one section where we just stay on the A and that's it. Um, and then there's also Get Back, which was popularized uh, recently and sort of revitalized, I should say, by the Get Back documentary. Um, this is... Jojo was a man who thought he was a loner, but he knew it couldn't last. Jojo left his home in Tucson, Arizona for this California grass. Get back, get back, get back to where you once belonged. Honourable mentions to those two because they are simple three chord songs that I think anyone can play with just a few minutes of practice. I mentioned at the start of this video that there is one song that uses these chords and kind of has them in the classic four chord song progression, um, and that song is Let It Be. Let It Be is in the key of C major, so to put these chords in the capo key of C major, we want to put that capo at the fifth fret. This G chord now sounds like a C, so we can play along to the recording. And that classic progression. Is like that. Even Let It Be, though, does not stay in that chord progression throughout. The Beatles just tended not to do that classic pop song trope. They, they came up with most other pop song tropes, but um, or at least popularized them. But this was one of the few times they actually did this one. Uh, at the end of that progression, it's C back to G. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be. Let it be, let it be Speaking words of wisdom, let it be On to the final songs on my list now, and these all have the same four chords that we've just played with Let It Be. Capo second fret, and we can use these same chords to play Obladi Oblada. Obladi Oblada, life goes on, ra la la how the life goes on. Oh bloody, oh blada, life goes on, bra, la la, how the life goes on. Another song we can play is Come Together. Now you would need a capo really high uh, to be able to do this along to the recording. In this key we'd be talking kind of capo 7th fret, but it's in the key of D, but I wouldn't do that. I'd just use this as an acoustic way of playing this and putting uh, this song into the key of G. 
Let me show you how we can do that. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got juju eyeballs, he want holy roller. He got hair down to his knee. Got to be a joker, he just do what he please. Come together right now over me. I've done a tutorial of how to play that riff and things before, so uh, I'm putting it in the key of G here, but it's using all those same techniques. Third fret, slide to 10th fret, eighth fret, and 10 if you want to do that version. And finally, if we play Hey Jude in the key of G, which is quite easy to sing on uh, guitar in the key of G and it makes it more guitar friendly, uh, we can do this. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. Capo really high, 10th uh, fret to be able to do that in the key of the original, but Hey Jude, don't make it bad. It does sound a little bit high over there, but that's it's not the point of this video. The point is to show you the capabilities of what you can do when you just learn a few chords and try and get as many songs under your belt with those chords as possible. That's the mentality I want you to have in the early days of learning guitar and even on through an intermediate level. It's often you'll get much better results if you focus on which chords go together and why rather than learning just more chords but have no idea which ones go together. That's what I try and do in my videos. So if you like that kind of style, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my website, andyguitar.co.uk. We have hundreds and hundreds of song tutorials over there, and there's plenty of exclusive ones that are not on YouTube as well. So I hope to see you over there, guys. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got juju eyeballs, he want holy roller, he got.